Welcome back to Morning Markets on Friday the 10th of December. On screen, we can see the key market moves from yesterday. What are the key take- takeaways? We had a modest pullback in equity markets across the piece as markets continue to grapple with the potential impact of the Omicron variant. Positive returns in sovereign government bonds as yields moved lower. The 10-year UK guild currently sitting at a yield of 0.75%. On the day, we experienced a weaker euro. This is reflective in the strength of the Dixie index, which reflects a weighted basket of currencies relative to the US dollar, the euro being one of the largest components. We can also see this with sterling relative to the euro, making a modest recovery after Boris Johnson's announcement of the move to Plan B. Sterling relative to the euro is currently around the 117 mark. Yesterday, Paul highlighted the rise in job openings in the States with consumer demand outstripping supply capacity due to the shortage of workers. The print yesterday morning echoed this point as the number of American citizens filing for new claims for unemployment benefits continues to fall. Over the week through to the 4th of December, 184,000 citizens came forward to apply for initial support. This was down 43,000 from the previous week and some 29,000 fewer than analysts were expecting. To put this in context, in the peak of the crisis in April 2020, claims were 6.2 million per week, and we can see that in the chart on screen now. The caveat to the data prints is, given the pace at which we are seeing the labour market recover, making estimates and seasonal adjustments becomes more challenging. The other aspect is the US debt ceiling. This is a legal limit on the amount of national debt and therefore financing costs that the US Treasury can have. Given the generous fiscal support packages which we've seen roll out throughout the states, the US is back at the cusp of this ceiling. Republicans are reluctant to support Democrats in the need to push the threshold higher, suggesting the additional spending is unnecessary and presents a future burden on the economy. The Democrats have the margin of seats in the Senate. They are 50-50, with the tie-break vote being uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. In the past, debt ceiling limit decisions required the support of around 60 senators or 10 Republican lawmakers in the upper chamber of Congress. Yesterday, this was changed as a one-off, allowing a simple majority vote. The vote could come as soon as the weekend. In bond markets, new issuance in the states was met with firm demand, suggesting concerns here around um, hitting that limit and and creating a default event began to abate. As Paul noted yesterday, today we'll be watching out for the latest US inflation numbers. We look forward to bringing you up to date on Monday here on Morning Markets. Subscribing to the True Potential YouTube channel is quick and easy. Simply go to the channel on your desktop or through the YouTube app on your phone and click the subscribe button. You can then press the notification bell symbol if you wish to be notified as and when new videos are released. Doing this is a great way to keep yourself updated with market developments and personal finance insights. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and we look forward to continuing to help you do more with your money.